not sure what made more sense so I'm just gonna kind of do a quick video walkthrough so like you know it's hard to see it's very sunny so I got the roof up this folds down this will also flip up um, to hold a sign so that'll flip up as a placard there's a, a vent above the grill which is actually a pretty decent sized grill um, could do um, 20 burgers or so on this if I can do meat I'm gonna have to figure that one out and here we got the um, steam trays for your two proteins that would be a vegan dog and a meat dog and here is another steamer tray probably for keeping buns there's a uh, huge two bin cooler area for putting uh, cold drinks or um, proteins, things that have to be kept cold, and that's nice. Been going through this. I wasn't sure. This is a warmer. Um, it opens up. I'm going to have to read the manual a little more. It opens up. I wasn't quite sure how it kept warm, but then I went underneath here. And uh, yeah, there's a uh, heating element under there to run on the propane. Um, over here was a uh, storage area. Keep your um, you know, utensils and whatnot. A nice little thing. Um, there's storage on the top area, which will also keep warm as well. And there's this little uh, area up top to keep buns with a little slider. Open, close. It looks like it's missing one, but it's just a piece of plexi. I should be able to get that. Um, all the way back here, you got your three basin sink, and then a little hidden two basin sink, making it compliant with what you need to have to be a uh, food cart. And I was looking around, and uh, I was, this is where they got the two propane bottles. I wasn't sure where they were, um, but there they are, and uh, they look like to be pretty full. Oh, that just latches. And come around here. Yeah, you, know, you got the where you display your license, where a million dead bugs got murdered on the ride home last night. Got to clean that. And then all these glass windows open up. They're they're sealed shut right now and tied with line so they wouldn't open when I was driving. So there's a little dink right here. I got to bend out. But yeah, um, this is on like hydraulics, so it just goes up and it makes a nice roof. And uh, yeah, that is uh, what we got. I think the first step's going to be putting it back on the 8-inch tires because I think it'll fit in the garage if I do that. Because you see it's up in the air about 7 inches or so off the ground. These are 12-inch tires. I think if I put the 8s eight back on, it'll go down. Oh, and down there you can see where my water drainage is. That's for my, my gray water drain. There's some other stuff. I haven't crawl, quite crawled under it yet, but I'll do that eventually. Day one.